Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod reveal with the me, and today, today, bit of a weird one, it's an anime that I don't really know that well, normally when I do one of these, it's, it's a mod, and I've watched the anime slash I've read the manga, I've watched one episode of the anime, because that's all that's out, it's Chainsaw Man, <laughs> which, um, yeah, I saw the manga existed, but never went and read it. Because uh, originally I just saw a guy with chainsaw head. Didn't seem that interesting to me. Then I saw people getting really hyped over it and talking about it more. And I'm like, okay, this actually now seems interesting. So I thought, yeah, I'll watch the first episode. Yeah, it's pretty... It's, it's good! <laughs> it looks great! It looks good! I tell that people keep talking about wifey stuff with them. Anyway, right, so, uh, this is a mod that I saw came out, like, some point in the last month. It's had a couple of updates. But, yeah, it's still fairly new. It's based on Chainsaw Man... And it does say, it does say on the mod page, you know, it's the guy that made the mod just made everything for it, including the models. So some of the models might not be insanely high standard compared to maybe some of the mods we've seen previously. But, I mean, this guy spawned and he looks alright, so, you know, that's fine. No idea who this guy is. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, I'm guessing he spawned because friendly, I'm guessing, I'm guessing he counts as like a, same way as an animal does. Because he's just spawning on his end despite it not being night term. Cool. He's got 100 health, though. That's terrifying. Right, what does this mod add? It adds in a bunch of mobs and stuff to fight. It adds in... There is, uh, well, obviously items in here and stuff. There's a bunch of items and stuff here, and uh, mobs and spawned and da 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 And you can find in the world, from what I understand. Uh, if we go into controls, there is one button. Okay, it is the there. Transform. It's set to R by default. So... Right, again, I've not read Chainsaw Man's manga, so some stuff in this, I'm just going to say straight away, is spoilery. It shows people that are probably going to show up later on in the anime. So, just to get that out of the way straight away. Also, yeah, I don't fully understand everything about it, but I understand the idea that there's devils in the show. There is hybrid, which I'm guessing is basically the main character. And there is devil hunters who kill the devils. That, that was introduced in the first episode of the anime, which I'm really happy about because I understand the bare basics now. But right, how do these powers work? How do we do everything? Well, I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, a lot of it seems to be the idea of you kill particular people, obtain their powers, and it lets you transform. AK does these things. There's the start cord. Pull this to transform. Left hand. Take off your left hand to become Katana Man. Great pull. Pull this, uh, uh, pull this for your neck to transform. And then Chainsaw Devil Heart. There, 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 these are extra items that were in the miscellaneous bit, along with the yeah, a bunch of pencil. Okay, so, where to start? Do we start with the outfits on, which I feel like if you transform is going to be a part of it, or do we start with the the spawning in of people? Hmm. Right, sure, I guess we'll take a look at some of the mobs and stuff first. Now, on the mod page, it does say that some of these people, for example, Putchy, here's Putchy, uh, apparently he spawns next to a grave. Now, there's no slash locate command to find said grave, so possibly if I go to the mainland, I might find a grave, I might find a thing that I can use. Okay, so killing Pucci just triggered things and... Oh, Jesus. So that guy tried to fight that thing. It summoned the Chainsaw Devil. Right, so I'm assuming if we kill this fecker, who, by the way, has got 30 armor and a thousand health, so... Yeah, okay, he's a boss. Um... Killing him is not going to be easy. Uh, maybe we should try summoning some other people. Like, power. Here we go. This is someone everyone talks about absolutely adores. No, nope, that didn't work. Alright, summon this guy then. You feel like fighting the chainsaw devil? Look, he's over there. Go get him. Another one did it. Oh, he is as well. Wait, will you actually go and fight him if I push you a bit closer to him? <laughs> Let's find out. The opening of the anime shows you fighting things. Nah, she's not interested. Okay. Also, gun fiend. The guy with a gun in his head. 700 health, 15 things. So, okay, a lot of this stuff in this is going to be, like, really high-powered. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Tomato Devil, that showed up in the first episode. Go. 100 health. Bumped him. I said 100 health and no armor. What if I kill you? Oh, I get the achievement for Devil Hunter. Which, oh, yeah, those achievements. Uh, it's not the story. Become a Devil Hunter. Train with Kashibi to get stronger. So that's apparently a thing. Uh, kill 10 devils, defeat Katana Man, kill the Bat Devil, kill a hybrid, and take its abilities. So I guess if we kill that thing, that's how you become Chainsaw Person, trigger that transformation button. Oh uh, yeah, there's also this guy. Reese. Don't know who he is, but he's here. 
Okay, what if we did that thing? What if we talk to Kashiba here? Can we interact with you? Can we do things with you? No, apparently not. At least not in my current mode. Possibly I need to have powers before I can do anything with them. Or possibly I'm just supposed to kill him. Uh, I did in fact kill him. I did in fact gain powers from it. <laughs> okay, that actually works. Yeah, just kill this guy. Apparently you get stronger. Okay, it's a one-time thing. I tried killing him some more. It didn't help. All the ball. Kill the ball. Kill 10 devils and kill 20 devils. I don't know. Maybe if you kill more devils, possibly you'll get more powers. That could be a thing. But okay, so yeah. Apparently you train with him and you just get a standard strength to and health boost. So more hearts, more health. I feel like... Yeah, more health and uh, more strength. I feel like you're going to need that given the caliber and opponent you're supposed to be fighting against this. Like this guy's... That's almost up. He's cool at boss. He's got the boss bar and everything. This guy, on the other hand... I don't know what his deal is, but he also actually has tons of armor. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to need some better equipment for fighting against these guys. <laughs> Diamond sword ain't cutting it. Okay, so we've already saw the Chainsaw Devil then. So what else have we got? We've got something called the Fox Devil. Okay, that's also got 1,000 health and 30 armor. Something called the Bat Devil, which apparently is getting worked on. The Katana Guy. Okay. Actually, he's got way less health. He's got tons of armor. And then the Hell Devil. Okay, well, apparently if you do interact with him, you can go to hell. Alright, cool, we're now in hell. <laughs> oh god. Um uh. Okay, I'm guessing that's supposed to be to make this guy look a very particular way. So apparently you just go to the hell biome and that's the thing. I don't know if there's actually anything here. I don't understand the references and stuff to it, because I haven't read the manga, but it's a place you can go to and I'm guessing it's a place that'll be filled with horrible things in the future. But right, well, it looks like a lot of the devils and stuff don't seem to fight each other, so, cool. So, yeah, like, some of the models aren't, like, you know, they're not super, and no, some of them look alright as well, so, you know, it's, it's a bit all over the place. Oh, hello. Oh, I got given this stuff when I beat the other guy. Or did I pick this up? Wait, what the feck? Okay, apparently this is just starting armor. <laughs> alright then. Uh, 25 armor rating, 12 armor toughness. Yeah, this is, like, miles better than, um... Diamond stats uh, concerning. Yeah, so yeah, everything's set to be really high powered by the looks of it. Okay, the mobs are strong, a lot of defense. It gives you really high end armor. So you have a lot of defense. It's just kind of a good luck thing because you can get. You got better strength now. Oh, hello. Oh, well, these did kill each other. Cool. Uh, I saw in the mod page apparently the grenade slash bomb devil or something. Apparently its powers are work in progress and they will still kill you. So that's not a good idea. But I'm really tempted to try it, but no, save it for now. Okay. Uh, Devil Hunter stuff, which we just got given there. It can get made quite easily, just out of will. So, like, the, the strongest armor in the game. Just made a will. Cool. Uh, the other stuff, I'm gonna assume you can't make it. Like, yeah, this looks like stuff you're supposed to get from transforming into those, uh, the different devils. And then there's this. This looks interesting. This is just a full-on chainsaw. Makes Mika's regen stop if you're just right. Yeah, what? That's whoever this person is. Ha! Huh. Supposed to use this in you, are we? It says if used right, and she's regenerating instantly. So I'm guessing you're not really supposed to be able to kill her very easily. That's good to know. I'm really interested in what happens if you kill this guy. Because I'm guessing this is how you get, like, the chainsaw thing to try and swarm into this chainsaw man. Yes? Maybe? Oh, here we go. Couple more, and ba -dum. We got chainsaw devil heart. Cool. Also, wait, yeah, yeah, you're still over here. Can we kill you and get your stuff? With great difficulty, yes. Bop. He does, in fact, give us a katana. Some of his outfit. Uh, a, le a, le a left hand. Uh, that was the thing that sold the fox. We already got that. Okay, so we can take off our left hand and become katana man. Or apparently we could do something with this. Well, I've just consumed it. Oh, wait, hold on. Now you have no clothes on, maybe? No, it's not letting me transform. Ooh, why? Oh, wait, looking at the mod page, it says the only hybrid that can become a devil hunter is Chainsaw Man. And I technically, I think, became a devil hunter, didn't I? Yeah. So also because I've got that, I can't become the other things. Meaning the only thing that should work would be pulling the cord, right? Yeah, that one works. And that one works! There we go! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's because of what I became. It's because of what I became. Okay, now that I've done that, now I can do this. Cool, cool, cool. So, right, th now we became a hybrid. It's changed our head thing over. Can we put these clothes back on? Yes, we can. We can still have our clothes on. And now it's gone. Okay, so apparently our hunger dropping down. Oh, kill. Cool. Hold on, where are my cows? Right. Transform. Yes? No? Yes, there we go. Alright, uh, so if we transform... 
basically you've got your your hunger is gonna go down really fast. That's apparently the thing. It says to kill animals to drink their blood. I don't know quite. Hybrid hunger, strength, resilience, regeneration, boost. I need to lose my hunger quickly so I can see if killing cows just actually gives us back hunger or not. I'll say, what's our power looking like? Do twenty nine per hit. These things normally do fourteen damage. Oh, they've got a four attack rate though, so you can swing pretty quick with them. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get something pretty fast. Oh, there we go. That was a hunger going down. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah, you just kill an animal and you just blah. You get a lot of your hunger back. The other thing you said, uh, because the idea being you drink blood. Because devils and all that. Hey, potatoes still. Yeah, I can still eat regular food too. It's just, you know, you can casually just kill things to also get energy back. Okay, that's good to know. All right, yeah, so that's one transformation that does work. I think I need to remove the advancements. Not going to become anything else. All right. So wait, how do we get the cord then? Arr. Like, okay, so that, that was us putting on the chainsaw heads and using them. Cool. That was that outfit. Also got Katana Man. So we actually got some of his clothing by killing him. But yeah. Basically, the same idea is you can have technically the outfit, just not have the power up from it. But you can wear the outfit if you fancy it. Oh, this guy's the bomb devil. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> Okay, you can get this guy, Vondo. Also, I'm noticing since transforming out, I've lost my benefits of having extra hearts. That's a bit odd. What nerf? I mean, I was told that apparently turning into the bomb guy would get you killed because he's work in progress. But that includes his outfit. Oh my god, you just become this guy. <laughs> okay, so this is the chainsaw devil. But keep us. Okay, that's a bit over the top. Um. Uh, I'm guessing this is like final final boss thing where like you're not supposed to turn into him Probably ever Uh, Yeah, okay. Well, we could, we could Technically transform into him, but I'm still curious how like we know how to get some of this stuff You kill certain devils will drop certain items before uh, uh, with them Like yeah, they get the pin from the great guy left hand from the katana guy uh, The chainsaw heart comes from the chainsaw devil. That's all well and good. Where's the cord come from? Okay. I'm gonna just revoke my advancements. I mean, I've only got the first ones. Now, I'm not a devil hunter anymore, so now technically I should be able to become something else. So, for example, yeah, take my left hand. Yes, that now works. So, because I'm not a devil hunter, now I can do become that. Now I can try and summon to the other one. Yes, there we go. So, we can now become Katana Guy. So, you get the helmet, you get the blades, you get the hunger, you get all the benefits and stuff for being transformed. Which, your transformation lasts until your hunger drops down to three bars. And during which time you're just really strong. <laughs> as long as you get animals to kill, pretty much, you'll stay in transformation for a while. So that's the thing. Yeah, there we go. What Killing one animal just refills your hunger bar. But it's just an ongoing thing. And obviously, if you're moving and fighting, you're going to be losing hunger a lot quicker. So that's a thing. All right. Yeah, okay. You can click R to transform out early if you fancy it. That's a thing too. Uh, just out of curiosity though, if I decide... I don't want to be Katana Guy. If I take the grenade pin, for example. No, it's back. Okay, so you can only be one type of devil. What if I die? So I died. Pin. Pin's still there. Okay. Slash Gabriel. Keep inventory. False. Slash kill. Just in case keep inventory is a thing making me keep my devil powers. Actually, well, no, if I've still got them, I can click R. No, I still transform. <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna have one power then. Unless there's a command to get it back. No, I'm not seeing one. Unless it is one of those commands and I'm just missing it because I don't understand a particular word or something. I'm assuming in, it, it's not in game rule either, like... Yeah, there wouldn't be a game rule to like remove your thing upon death. Well, there, there could be, but I don't think there is. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Pitchy! Grab Pitchy a second. Rather than killing him... Can we befriend him? <laughs> If we befriend him, would he give us the cord? Like, no, I don't think so. I mean, we already know what happens when you kill him. Yeah, he does that. Feck. Oh dear God. Um, yeah, killing him just makes him basically the final boss. Kill. Yeah, no, just not dealing with that. Off the bar. Right. Well, I'm not sure how to get the cord at this current stage then, because like, I like, well, there are other people we haven't killed yet, I suppose, but I don't see the actual, you know. <laughs> The actual chainsaw man guy himself. A.K. Denji. His name is Denji, right? Is his shoes? Yes, maybe. Could try murdering power and see if that does anything. Just 
to see if it does anything. That's why I'm just trying killing everything to see if anything drops anything. Yeah, okay, killing her didn't do anything. Right now, killing Kishibi just transforms us into a Devil Hunter. Like, that's basically us completed basic training. We get the achievement and we get boosts that come with it, Iki. Strength 2 this time with no extra hearts. Where on earth did those extra hearts come from last time? Not a clue. I must have done something extra to earn them. Go. Uh, Wait a minute. Come a Devil Hunter. Change this thing is. Oh, yeah, I need to kill a devil first, don't I? Well, that's easy enough. Model this chap here, and ba -dum, they didn't give me anything. I've broken it, oh no. Yeah, well, I'm confused. Anyway, record again. Ba -ba -da. Transform. Neat. Uh, blah. I don't know what the point. I... Yeah, there's just so much to this mod that I'm just not fully understanding myself, probably because I just haven't read the manga, and thus I don't get how everything would fit together, because sometimes. You know, actually watching the show sometimes helps. But no, I saw the mod, I wanted to give it a little look because I'm going to be watching the anime anyway, so I might as well have a look, see, look, and see what's in the mod. And yeah, I mean, it's alright. Adds some stuff in, gives you some transformation things in that. Uh, gives you some things to fight. They're really high end power wise, and it gives you really high end power wise stuff, which is, um, it seems a bit extreme, but you know. I guess in time that could get balanced off if they wanted to. I'm not just thinking, whenever I look at mods like this, I always just think about like if you were to mix it with other mods, how it would go. And the kind of general thing is going to be, it's not going to end well because other mods, this is just like too strong and stuff. The stuff it's giving you is too strong compared to, you know, the average other mod and da da da. I don't know. It's, I guess it depends. If this mod keeps developing and has enough stuff in, then it may not matter. But either way. Still interesting that you get, you know, access to things like transformations and stuff. I do like that that's a factor. The way they balanced it is kind of interesting. Cause you can just kill cows to keep your energy going and stuff. There's a couple of devils swinging around. A lot of them are really strong. So, like, all the tomatoes, you mean? Like, good luck killing any of them in base before you, like, you know, get any powers. I was wondering where the feck he is. Oh, he can't swim, the silly feck. Uh, but yeah, if you kill Pucci. Where is Pucci? There he is. He transforms into that one. Originally, I thought that was going to be how you get this form, but no, apparently that's how you get the heart. That's how you transform into that one. So how do you become this one? Yeah, killing this guy again. Yeah, he always just drops the heart. You kill the devils, you get the devil stuff. Yeah, so it's just a string. We've had to go a little explorer. They did say certain structures spawn in the world, so... Sure, we've looked at all the different mob eggs. Sure, let me go get a quick flyer in the world and see if I can find anything. Yeah, just gonna know, I don't actually know if there's any structures in this mod. Uh, I just saw on the mod page saying, you find so-and-so at so-and-so location, aka like Pucci at the grave. And that part made sense to me, assuming a grave actually spawns. If it does, it's gonna be very random. Also, I assume it'll be in a plains biome. I can I can go a quick look around just if it's sort but... Yeah, it, it depends how rare and stuff it is. If it's very rare, I probably just won't find it, because there's no slash locate command currently. Yeah, it mentions a grave, a coffee shop, and a ramen shop. Which I feel like they'd be pretty noticeable if I went past them, so... Uh, uh, quick flyer around just to be sure, but... Possibly might not find them. They might still exist even if I don't find them. I don't know, maybe someone else can tell us in the comments if these things actually exist or well. That's just a thing it's saying in the mod page. Yeah. Okay, there's no size summon command. I'll just check the last give command really quick just to be sure. Because, you know, occasionally there's extra things in there. Yeah, bang. Blah, 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 blah. Not that I would know what half this stuff means even if I did see it, but yeah. Okay, yeah, most of it just, yeah, it's just the stuff that pretty much was in the woods. Nothing from what I could see hidden away or anything like that. Right, well, apparently there are structures out there, maybe. And it's apparently where you'll find certain, like, you know, devils and stuff, so you can fight them and try and get their powers. But, um, yeah, that's from JoJo's mod. Ignore that. That's, that's not from this mod. Right, well, that's pretty much it for the mod, then. By looks of it. Uh, yeah, some interesting little bits in it. I like this transformation. I saw this and thought this looks pretty cool. So, like, on the, on the main character, you know, you do absurd amounts of damage. Well, absurd depending on what you're playing. I don't know. The enemies have got a lot of health and a lot of defense, so they may be absurdly hard to beat. I genuinely don't know how you as a player are supposed to be able to beat them. <laughs> when did that, there's that big absurd the difference in power between you. So, I don't know. The big boss one's doing over 100 damage, so... God only knows. Maybe maybe if you go through the advancement system, you get a way, way stronger. Because it does say you do get more health and stuff as you go through the advancement. So, potentially go off and kill more devils and stuff. You would get strong enough where you can take on things like that. Who knows? 
But, um, yeah, like, some of the stuff looks pretty good. Some of the stuff looks, you know, eh, it is what it is. The mod maker himself went and pointed out the fact that some of the models aren't, you know, the best and all that jazz. But it seems like, you know, he's trying to improve upon things and stuff. It says the stuff has been updated and getting changed and stuff. So, yeah, I'm interested to see where this mod goes. Also, yeah, obviously enough, the fact that the anime's had one episode out and this mod already exists means, yes, there is spoilery stuff in it. So, yeah. I have not read any of the manga, and thus, even though I've seen spoilery bits here, I still don't know what any of it means, realistically, for the show, so I'll still be surprised by it. It just means now, oh no, there's a guy with katanas, a guy with a gun head, and a guy that likes to blow things up, along with a bat and a fox, along with whatever the fuck that thing over there was. <laughs> so, um, yeah, interesting, interesting. But yeah, I enjoyed the anime. I feel like I just had to take a little look-see look at this mod. And yeah, it's an interesting mod. Plus, I got a comment saying it'd be really cool to see the Chainsaw Man things like this used with the main piece animations for swords. So maybe give that a try in the future. But right, anyway, links down below if you want to check the mod out. So 1.16.5. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this show. Uh, I'll be keeping an eye on the mod anyway, because I'm interested in Chainsaw Man now. So it'll be fun to see what more stuff is added to it. But yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching. See you next time for whatever random mod review thing you end up doing next. Go bye everybody. Da, 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 da. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support. And a special thank you and shout out to our late members, the jolly members, Sebastian Ramsey, Alexander01, and Isaac Washington. And our Anbu member, Monster Q. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Butter, butter, butter.